everybody? This is the third episode of Brett's Groovy Chainsaws Rest in Peace series. A big thank you goes out to Al Briardi, golf man's epic stuff on YouTube. Here's his intro right here. Behold, my stuff. And you gotta go check him out. Go check him out on YouTube. He does Evil Dead stuff. He's the guy who makes the Necronomicons come back to life. Something that hasn't been perfected in years, and he nailed it. He does things like Harry Potter, Zelda, Star Wars, other things that I don't know about with elves and wizards and stuff like that because I don't know about it. But I go to his channel to see what that's all about. So definitely go check him out. And thank you for coming back for this episode, and let's get to the video. Hey, what's up, Ryan? Son, you get those pages yet? Tell me you got those pages. I know Al said he was gonna be sending them out to you like ASAP. Oh, you damn right I got the pages, and I will tell you what, those things look Freaking amazing. I mean, it's the best thing that I've ever seen. And I'm going to tell you, man, I am just shocked by how good they are. I mean, they're perfect. Have you seen these things? Oh, dude, trust me. I've seen them. I've seen those pages. I've seen the book in person. I saw Al's. I saw the cover. I saw the pages in person. Dude, it took, like, everything in me not to just, like, tackle them and then take the book and run. That's how good that thing looked. So you gotta make, you gotta make a video. Dude, I can't wait to make a video on this because the world has to see these pages and I can't wait to call them and tell them what I think of them because they are phenomenal. It's better than anything I've ever seen before. So yeah, I'm gonna make a video, of course. Right on, son. What are you working on right now? I'm hammering wood. Hammering wood, why? For a video. For a video. All right, if you say so, son. Um, yeah, I guess I'll let you, uh, I guess I'll let you get back to, uh, hammering wood <laughs> for, uh, whatever reason. Right on, son. I'll talk to you later. All right. One more good whack, and we are done. <laughs> oh, gosh, damn. Gosh damn it. Oh. Ah, shit. Hey Al, how's it going? Hey man, I was just reaching out. Uh, I just checked the tracking. So you got your pages. So uh, got a chance to check these bad boys out. I think they're the best ones I've ever done. I think they're the most accurate that's ever been done. What do you think, man? Yeah, yeah, yep, I got them uh, the other day and uh, they're great. And? They, they're, they're great, okay? Great. They're great. They're great. Thank you for that uh, detailed and sterling review and praise of my work. What is happening right now? Great. Like, I believe I made a video and... I don't know, 14 or 15 posts about your saw. But, uh, no, I'm glad that you think my pages are great, you know? Okay, the pages are great, but I gotta ask, what what happened to the lights and the, what's going on with the tape? Oh, no, 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 no. You see, you, ju you just think they're great, you know? I'll build this book, I'll build that book, you know? And I send that shit to you, man. You got two books. You got two books from me, brother, all right? Early. V1, uh, and what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You say it's great, and then you go make YouTube videos, and then you go and you stick it on the Ghost Beaters page. You barely even post it in the Knights of Samaria group. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta make sure it's Brett's content. Gotta make sure Brett's channel gets all the views, because God forbid Brett's little cult doesn't get its a daily infusion of compliments. Oh, so it's great. I don't have time to tell you how good it is. Thanks, bro. Let me go get my YouTube video up. You know what? 
what, man? I got a lot of people asking me for books. I got orders all the way back from fucking November, brother. And I gotta get them done. But you know what? Maybe next time, maybe next time, you go to the back of the line. Maybe go to the back of the line, okay? Because, you know, there are people who think that my stuff's just a little bit better than great, okay? All right, okay. I'll just, I'll start by doing a live about your pages. Do one of your lives so that everybody can slap your ass and tell you how great you are, even though you're not talking about anything. There's no topic. You're just sort of rambling. I don't know what the hell you're doing. You know, thank God you're doing that over there, because over here, we're busy doing work. You know what I mean? I'm not making two books a year like your saws. I'm making 40, and I got to deal with all this. I move you to the front of the line, and all you got for me is great? Great? Oh, it's great. It's great. I am just so confused right now. My shit is fucking immaculate. This is the best work ever done. And you know what? You know what? No. No, 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 no. This is what happens. Oh, you know what's great? This saw is great. This saw is great. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I just don't have time for it right now. I did a video. I did a review. I did all that for you. And what you got for me? Great? Great? Oh, it's just great. Good old Brett. You wouldn't even have anyone know who you are. If it wasn't for me, I found you. I created a group around you. I promoted you. I told everyone you were great. I was pumping out new item after new item after new item, and then still singing your praises so you could build the cult of Brett. And now I made this for you. This is mine. I did that. Everything that's great about you is me. And all I get is great. So you know what? Why don't you just do what you do best? Why don't you do what you do best? Oh, I'm Brett Cole. He's a piece of shit. I'm going to give it away. I'm just going to give it away. It don't matter to me. It's, I'm just going to give it away because nothing, not, nothing has value to me. Go give it away. Why don't you give it away if it's so great? Just give it to somebody else. You know what? That's what you do best, right? I make the great and you give it away. I did not give away any of your stuff. Maybe a couple things, but just, they were for the fans, dude. Your fans. Oh, explain. He wants to explain. No, it's okay. You don't need to explain. How in the hell did you do that? You can just sit there and do what you do best and, uh, you know, give credit for drawings and things like that. Did I just see you put the chance on the trash twice? You know, you can go on the ghost beaters and post your little videos and, and do your lives that have no topic at all. You're just sort of shooting the breeze with your cult and, you know, None of these people would know who you are. It wasn't for me. I found you. I made you. You had a 22-part saw video with 35 likes. I found it when I was building my saw. And I said, I'm going to make this guy somebody. And I had a group, and I started it up, and I put you out there, and I let you talk to everybody, and I told everybody how great you were, even though I was busting out new thing after new thing. I was networking with people. I was putting out the trafari with people. I was putting out the book with people. I was doing all the things. And what were you doing? Giving it away. Just giving stuff away. All the stuff. And now, Brett's YouTube. Ooh, got to have content for Brett's YouTube. That's what those pages are for, right? God forbid, you know, you're not going to post it on the on the Knights of Samaria. You're going to go post it on Brett's YouTube. You're going to go post it on the beaters. Brett's Groovy Chainsaws? When was the last time you made a saw? I made 40 books last year. When was the last time you did anything? I did something, man. I built a dagger. Didn't you see that? Oh, you did your little dagger. Yeah, you did another dagger. For yourself. For yourself. Yeah, that's what you do. Do stuff for Brett. You didn't do everything, man. I did the, 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 you know, Brett's groovy thing. That Brett wants you to be groovy? I did that. That's mine. Everything that people like about you is from me. And you just give it away. So you know what? You know what, you insensitive prick? You can give away whatever you want. You go to the back of the line, and you do what you do, and I'm going to do what I do best, which is continue to make these books. Everybody wants to post when Brett farts in their direction. Nobody ever posts the books that I send them. Nobody ever posts the pages that I put in them. Everybody just sits around in their happy hunky-dory. Nobody wants to promote Al. Gothman's epic stuff? Yeah. Nobody wants to talk about me. Nobody wants to tag me. They just want to talk about Brett. Well, you know what, man? 
Sounds like you got enough people doing for you. So I'll tell you what, you insensitive prick. You stay on your damn page, and you stay out of the nights, and you go over there and have your little chats, and next time you want a book, you pay for it, and you get in the back of the line like everybody else. I'm sorry I just said they were just great, man. They're phenomenal. They look like they were pulled off a screen, and I tell you what, without your contribution to the Evil Dead community, we wouldn't have 90% of what we have now. We would still be back in the days of toilet paper and glue and cotton balls and things like that, man. You have put a stamp, a footprint, in the history of the Evil Dead fandom. You really have. And I tell you what, the Knights of Samaria, of course I'm going to post over there, man. And the thing is, what people don't realize, that is the house that Al Briardi built. And I'm so proud of you, man. So you should pat yourself on the back. You did a phenomenal job. I love those pages. <laughs> oh, crap. The lights are back on. He's crying. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, let's, let's not do this. Let's not cry, okay? I love you, brother. Why doesn't he like my stuff? Hey, uh, you know, I have to go eat my dog. I mean, feed him. Uh, so I got to go. And uh, keep doing what you're doing, man. And uh, stay groovy. <laughs> that went sideways pretty quick. All right, better make a video. So let's get to the montage.
What is up, Evil Dead fans? In this video, we're going to talk about the Naturum Demanto, the Book of the Dead from Evil Dead 1. Now, Naturum Demanto means Necronomicon, so in a sense, it is a Necronomicon, so all the books are Necronomicons. Now, I got the pages from Al. For my book, he used super thick cardstock. You can see the stripping right here that he emulated that Tom Sullivan did in this book. The difference between this book and the one you see on Evil Dead 1, this one's not falling apart. You can see on Evil Dead 1 it is falling apart. One cool aspect that he did add is the vellum, the very see-through paper that you see in Evil Dead 1. Now for mine, he used a super thin vellum. That's what I wanted. And it's not as durable as the thicker kind you can get. And I know for other sets of pages, he's probably gonna use the more durable kind just because a lot of people like to flip through these, look through them, and if you constantly do that, you may rip the vellum. For me, I can't stop looking through it too, but I will have this behind glass very soon. The pages aren't really weathered, but where they're weathered, it's very prominent, like you can see the dotting on the front. He did send me the pages for Paris's book. Paris won the giveaway. His pages aren't this thick cardstock. His is a little bit thinner, and what is cool about that like, my cover is thinner. Like, this is thinner than all the other ones that I've done. So if you had this thick cardstock, it's gonna be super thick. But with the other paper that is just, like, a little bit thinner than this, it fits perfectly. So if you're gonna get pages from him, you're probably gonna get the thinner stuff and the thicker vellum, so it's more durable. But look at everything that he's done. The stripping, all of that stuff. Amazing work. One thing I do have to talk about and mention is this page right here. Now, I have to add something in there. In the book that Tom Sullivan did in Evil Dead 1, there is a latex handprint in there, and I have not added that. I don't know if I'm gonna emulate latex. I don't know if I'm gonna just do latex. Don't know yet. So, we'll see when I do that. I'll show you guys. But, super impressed with the quality of it. Now, what I would call this is a deluxe version. Why, why do I mean that? Again, it's the thicker cardstock. And I know he's only doing it for a few people just because he's doing it for the people who contributed to making this happen. Whether they helped him out with pages or helping out making these things or help out, what I mean by making them, actually going to his house and helping make the books. So it's very few. But I tell you what, the ones that you will get in the book that he's going to do with this cover, you will not be disappointed because I've seen the alternate set and they look just as good. But I got to tell you, man, I love it. And let's compare this size to other Evil Dead Necronomicons. So looking at the pages right here, you can see they're not very big, not very big at all. And what can we compare that to? Let's compare it to Ash vs. Evil Dead. Now I do have an Ash vs. Evil Dead Necronomicon as well, but let's look at one of the real pages. Now this is one of the real pages from Ash vs. Evil Dead. You can see the size difference. Huge, massive. And what's cool is, this is on Ash vs. Evil Dead, this page. If you look in this book, a very similar page. Not exactly the same, but very similar. So they use it in Ash vs. Evil Dead. But wait, there's more. Let's look at Evil Dead 2. Now we know this is to size because this is a lineage cover. If we flip through right here, there it is again. So you have it here and here. Slight differences. Now, if we open back up in this book, it is basically exactly the same. Different size, you can see the size difference. You're gonna say, well, if it's exactly the same, why are the pages a different size? Well, you can print pages and upscale the size. So we know this is the size. We've known the size of this book for a long time. The references I have is from Al. Al knows people who have seen the replicas or have the information of the exact size 
and a few other people as well, and all their sizes matched up. John Thomas as well, I talked to him about it. So that's very cool. Now, if you're gonna have a cool book like this, something else you have to have. An Evil Dead One, Kendarian Dagger. Why? Well, they look so cool together. So for me, if Evil Dead One stuff, it's gotta be these two pieces. Now, I know some other people collect clocks, they collect the Oh my XL12 that was on Evil Dead 1, but for me, these two pieces are the must haves. But what else can you do to improve your Evil Dead 1 collection? Now, one thing you might want to consider for your Evil Dead 1 collection is to make a custom Kendarian Dagger stand. I made this a summer ago, so if you want to see that video, because I did make one on it, just scroll through my videos and find it and watch it. It was a fun video to make and a fun project. You can actually do whatever you want. You can make it however you want to look. You can make it look like Evil Dead 1. You can make it look like Evil Dead 2. You can make it look like all of them. But for me, I wanted the creepiness of Evil Dead 1. So that's why I did this. A little bit of Evil Dead 1, a little bit of Within the Woods, which was the prequel that helped kickstart uh, the filming of Evil Dead 1. Now I made this, I made it so I could lay on a table. I made it so like, I can actually hang it up as well. I put a slot on top of this skull, and then the blade just slides right in as such. So it's a cool display for this piece. And if you have a coffee table and you don't have animals or little kids running around, you could have this as a centerpiece on a coffee table. So something you want to think about, because it really helps display Evil Dead 1, Kendarian Dagger, and your whole collection of Evil Dead related things, or just Evil Dead 1. It's kind of up to you. So there we have it. We have finished pages in the book. They're done. Just have to do the latex hand. Again, look at the size difference in comparison. You got a small book, a little bit bigger. Army of Darkness is probably comparable to Ash vs. Evil Dead in size. We have Kendarian Dagger and a very cool Kendarian Dagger stand. So, if you're gonna go all out for Evil Dead 1, there's a few things you can do or have. Now, I don't make the daggers for sale, but you can always make your own. I got videos on it, just check them out. And these are for sale. The run Al's doing this year with doing the pages is all filled up. He's gonna open up spots next year, and soon I will be selling just the covers for sale. I'm not going to do anything with mounting it. That would be up to the buyer. Why? Because I don't have that much time. Uh, so those will be available very, very soon, and I'll list it probably on the Ghost Beaters Facebook page and probably the Knights of Samaria. So, there they are, badass pages. And what do I say at the end of every video? Mm, I forgot. Oh no, I didn't. Now you guys, stay groovy. All right, I hope Al's happy with his video. My hand feels better. Now, it's time to finish what I started. <laughs> oh, gosh damn it. So come back next week for Brett's Groovy Chainsaw's Rest in Peace, episode number four. Will he ever be done hammering that wood? Will his hand get better? We don't know. Will it even be in that episode? Probably not. But we'll find out next week, so stick around. See you there.